This is the LH4X4 doing stuff. Today we're working on a 2014 Silverado LT 4x4 Z71. We're doing front strut, so come on along. We'll start by jacking the vehicle up, putting a jack stand underneath the frame. Let's get the tire off. already started by uh, loosening up the end link it's going to give us more uh, play out of the control arms because I have the leveling kit in it and the hardware upside down I'm gonna to have to take the upper control arm off and move the steering knuckle out of the way so the hardware goes past the axle All right. Also, we're going to take the wheel speed sensor wire out of the mounting points. That way, uh, we won't pull it out. <clears throat> and then we got to be careful once we remove the upper control arm uh, to keep keep tension off of the brake line. All right, because it's going to want to fall, and the only thing that's going to stop it is going to be the brake line and the wheel speed sensor. 18 millimeter up top. And for my hardware underneath it is 17 mil. I had already went through and loosened the majority of the stuff up. Now, if you're using the stock uh, configuration for the suspension, not using the um, leveling kit, you don't have to take the upper control arm off because the hardware uh, comes up underneath and there are, uh, well, I'll show you. There's this stuff mounted like that and the hardware comes in from underneath. All right, so you don't have to take any of the stuff out of the way. Thank you. 
And at this point, with the stock suspension, without using the leveling kit, the strut would be able to come out without taking any of this other stuff off. I guess I could have put the hardware in, but I was concerned about the length of the hardware coming up and, and uh, hitting against the axle. But I don't know. All right, we'll take this upper ball joint out. And we'll start removing. We'll start removing the uh, mounting points for the wheel speed sensor. that a little bit of a little bit of play is this is an 18 mil yeah upper can the ball joint upper ball joint 18 mil we're even looking you guys paying attention jack underneath the lower control arm to give it some support. I'll go get a bungee cord. All right, got our bungee cord. Find a good spot to tie it off to. All right, we do have enough room to I found a hole in the upper control arm uh, right there and looped it back. Keep a little bit of tension on that so it doesn't rip out the, the brake line. All right, now we have access to this hardware now. Just put a little bit of tension on the tension on the strut. It'll drop down. 
So you kind of lift it up a little bit. Actually, we need to lower the control arm down some. Go back into the mounting holes, push the strut back, drop it down, pull it out. There you go. All right, let's go inside. All right, so what else I forgot to mention? This being the front of the strut. This is clocked. All right, so it only goes into the mounting area a certain way. So this is, uh, this is the one that faces out. Okay, so what I like to do is just put the nut on there that way when I'm reassembling the new strut, everything will line back up. And even if it's off a little bit, I'll show you how to move the strut around. I'll show you how to move the strut around to line it up so everything lines up. All right. This is part of the leveling kit. but that can stay on. All right, let me switch out GoPro batteries and uh, we'll get right back on it. looking to do is take tension off of this upper mounting point and that way uh, catastrophe doesn't happen. got tension off of it.
18 mil. All right, there's a flat spot. You'll know you're good to go when you can uh, rotate the actual shaft of the strut. Uh, what I mean is that there's no tension on the on the strut anymore, um, where you can continue to take the nut off. And not worry about the spring launching. This inner uh, snub won't come out. It'll only go out through the top, but we don't need to take it out. All right, let's go get the new strut. All right, this is what I was talking about. We'll pop those off later. What we also need to do is transfer some stuff off of the old one like this put it on the new one line this little I guess bushing or whatever it is up to the spring right as you can see there's three little bosses <clears throat> that this upper plate go into and we put our uh, mounting point that faces outwards up towards the top. We drop everything as we go along, provide extra work for ourselves. There you go. And we'll run our nut back down
until it bottoms out. And all these do is just pry off. Take the nut that we had off. Tip it down. Lift it up. Kind of set it in place and we we will have to move it just a little bit it's on an angle but i'll show you how to do that lift it up put one of the top mounts in place we can start the other ones Need to grab my 18. All right, this is real world. I'm not doing the edit magic. Having said that, I probably will have to. But for the most part, it doesn't take long at all to knock this out. But hey, thanks for all the new uh, subscribers. Uh, leave a like and a, and a comment. Like I say before, if you want to leave a comment and you're not a subscriber, do me a solid and subscribe and I'll be more than happy to, to answer your question. I mean, I'll answer your question anyway, but I mean, if I'm going to do something for you, why don't you do something for me and hit that, that subscribe.
there are little uh, for the wire loom there are little mounting points I lost that capability once I went with the leveling kit because there's not enough stud at the top of the upper mount to put them back on all right let's get this bottom strut lined up and that's all you need to do you see that you in frame just get something on there to move it to straighten it out get it somewhat lined up there we go I may have to loosen up the upper mat. No, it was just stuck on the shock. Okay, I see. I didn't need to really jack that up. As soon as I jacked it up, it kind of wedged itself. get a pry bar up top kind of move things around get that one set and lower the jack down a little bit So we can get this spacer in underneath. There we go. that one I guess we can move the jack out of the way. Go. Get that my bottom hardware started.
All right, let's get this upper control arm or the ball joint, upper ball joint back inside the steering knuckle. All right. Get the jack underneath the lower control arm. Pry bar. There we go. Eighteen mil. You might have to keep some tension on that upper control arm to keep the the ball joint from rolling around or spinning around. Okay. All right. Can lose the bungee. Put our speed sensor wire back into the mounting points. Tighten our end link up. That's it. We just put the wheel back on and torque it to 140. Let me get the torque wrench set up.
right, there you go. Thanks for watching. ELH4X4 doing stuff. 2014 Silverado LT 4x4 Z71 front strut. Have a great day.